beer review time and it's something a little bit different it is Brass Castle Hoptical Illusion and uh, what's different about this it's got no wheat or barley it's uh, made with sorghum which makes it gluten free and um, also read that all these beers that are produced by this brewery are uh, vegan and vegetarian friendly as well so we're going to crack this open Nice little hiss there. Now I've had sorghum before in another beer. It was in uh, a stout, funny enough. A Nigerian version of a, a very popular stout. Stop it just there, I presume it's... Yeah, a little bit of yeast on the one. really hoppy up front loads of uh, tropical fruits and citrus coming out mmm smells really really punchy I'm gonna I'm gonna dive in little little bit of haze possibly on the doesn't bother me mmm Exceptional, it's really really good. That's quite interesting because I did wonder with the sorghum if it would um, give a kind of underlying sweetness because when it was in the, um, the stout that I had, I think that's what it was it was bringing to the table kind of like a like a milk stout brought more of a, a sweetness to it. But I don't know how you put this in a beer and and not get that. If, well, maybe it doesn't bring a whole heap of sweetness, but just enough on that on a darker beer. But maybe I'm thinking with this, it kind of rounds out the hoppiness, so it's not as bitter on the finish. You get a kind of nice hot punch at the front, but there is a little bitterness there, but it's not super bitter. For, well, it tastes like there's a ton of hops in here, but the very end is is quite smooth. Not the kind of like the some strong bitter finishes you get with real hoppy beers. Mm. It is definitely very different. Four point eight percent. It doesn't say the uh, the hops, but I did have a little quick check of the brewery, and they've got um, like a tap room at the weekends, and I'm sure it even mentioned something about brewing equipment alongside it you can purchase yes it's a hop forward sorghum grain pale ale I love that it's gluten free and it's vegan friendly vegetarian friendly kind of like you know none of that flavor has been stripped out of there with uh, finings or anything like that I love the breweries that do that I think it's fantastic it's really really punchy I've got them at Yeah, I think that the end is very, very rounded and smooth towards the end. Could uh, could really session this beer. And I'd also say it'd be a really good beer to kind of get people on that have uh, not really had hoppy beers. To give them something like this because it's got that good hopness up front. But like I say, the, the bitterness is much more rounded than the, a lot of kind of like IPAs or Pals where it's kind of a big bitterness on the end. Whereas this kind of seems to really smooth out so you're kind of getting all that flavour without the harshness of the, of the bitterness which some people when they haven't had hobby beers find quite you know intrusive but this is just perfect mm. that is a delight it is beautiful I can't recommend that enough I'm going to put the links below thanks to beersofeurope.co.uk for supplying this it was Brass Castle Hoptical Illusion. Put the links down below. Cheers, be sure to grab one.